Here we are with Summertime Rendering Episode 3. And yeah, last episode we found out more about the shadow sickness that is like a thing on this island, right? Um, we saw how it happens and what happens. And there are still more questions. <laughs> like, can every doppelganger, every shadow make a copy of someone or is it just maybe the Mio one that is like a specific one um and yeah i mean obviously why right why are they why are they there and why are they doing it um but i guess that's stuff that we will find out eventually i guess would be weird if we don't find it out and also, like, what is the woman with the purple eyes in the suit doing on the island? I think she is, like, investigating that stuff, maybe, it seems like. Um, but, and, yeah, uh, what on the funeral, the Flash, which is probably some doppelganger doing something, making a copy or something. What, who, why, where, to whom? Um more questions but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think about the episode and yeah let's get to the episode she shiori oh shiori is a little girl wait didn't she told him that already Shiori is a small girl, right? So Mio told him already in the last episode, right? That she saw her shadow. Then why is he like... Wait, she saw her shadow too? Or maybe it's someone else. Yeah, the mart is closed. Because they moved away and you should know that because it happened... Two days ago, basically, by now. So maybe he expected something to change? Yeah, because they just moved away or what a... Maybe they are dead. Imagine they go in and there are dead bodies. Okay. Okay, I guess something happened because the TV is still running and everything, right? Maybe... Maybe the girl is one of the copies and maybe killed the parents and made copies and erased the existing ones. Yep. We saw that. They can just like pfft, destroy the people, the dead ones. Wait, what? Wait, let me go back. This is suspicious. Is he like... Is this like in his mind? Yeah, where did they go? Like the shadows. So yeah, I wonder if that was like... The second voice of him talking, if that was like in his mind? Or if that was like a second him. She's maybe the doppelganger. The shadow. Uh. What is going on? Does she have a knife? Death there? Yep, as I thought. Because it looked like as if the flash came from her. She is glitching! What? Is this a father coming out now? 
ていたんだ初めからイエーイ What? どうない上に誰かいる Dude, this is so weird. This is so weird because he says he is afflicted by it. If my English isn't completely bad, then afflicted basically means that he is like affected, right? That he already is like in touch with it, basically. Which I forgot to mention, like, um, when Mio killed him in the last episode, and the. Shadow of the police officer said if she doesn't want to turn him into a shadow too, she said to like he already uh, he already is dot dot dot. So I thought she wanted to say something like he already is dead or something. But maybe maybe when she said he already is dot dot dot, maybe she meant like he already is or maybe he already has a shadow, right? That could be interesting. So maybe he can't be affected by it, by it anymore because maybe he already is affected by it. There is already a shadow of him, maybe. Yo, there, there is a shadow of him already. Oh my god, how can I be so dumb? Because in the bistro, the one dude said that he, Shinpei, asked him about a woman. Right? And he, Shinpei was like, wait, what? I, what? Shinpei was confused. So, when the flash happened on the funeral, then he was already affected. Oh, maybe the way it works is because it sounds like a photograph, right? Um, a flash from a like, camera. So, maybe they take like a picture of the person and then they can just make a copy of it. And that's how it works, maybe. That is like as if they make a picture of the person they want to make a copy of. And when she made the picture on the funeral, she made a picture of him. Already, but let's continue. Okay, yeah, man, I completely forgot that that the one customer in the bistro said that he talked that he uh, that Shinpei was asking him something, and Shinpei was confused. So yeah, there was already a copy of him, and I completely forgot about that already. <clears throat> so he can't be affected by it anymore. Because he spawned on the dogs. And this is like, I have so much stuff in my head going on right now. She had huge bazongas. Of course. Oh, wait. Oh, my. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is this maybe going on, on like in parallels? Is this maybe all parallel to each other? That he exists now? Maybe the copies are not copies. <clears throat> maybe it's just like. I mean, they maybe are copies, but what? Maybe I don't. Maybe it's just Shinpei, Shinpei, or maybe it's like all the copies that it's like parallels, right? And that there's some. I mean, I don't want to speculate what is going on right now, but maybe the copy of Shinpei is not a copy really, but it's like his his parallel himself. Or, I mean, I guess maybe the copies are something different, but maybe Shinpei is like. Parallels. Maybe he has like multiple selves of him on the island at different times that do the same thing, and it's basically himself, just like different parallels, right? So he has one himself right here asking the question, while the other one is maybe somewhere else. So if that's the case, then maybe he can see himself doing stuff. Like, kind of like in Harry Potter, right? When they had, like, the time thing in Azkaban. Um, and Harry Potter saw himself defending himself from the Dementors and all that shit. Something like that, maybe? Is it maybe something like that? Dude, this gets more and more interesting. And that... But this should be the real one, right? 
that still isn't it could still be a fake one maybe because if it's a copy the copy would know right and here he gets information again which he also got yes like the first time around but this is now different okay a detective is coming I mean, we don't know. Could still, he could have still be killed and just knows information. Oh. I mean, she knew that something was coming for her, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Dude, I can't trust anyone. What if his, if he is a copy too? I should tell him everything and then it's a copy and kills him. I mean, anyone can be a target, basically. Not really. I mean, when they come and stab you, then you know it's a shadow, probably. <laughs> but then it's too late. Everyone is suspicious. <laughs> this is the crazy shit. If they wouldn't show up on cameras, that would be like so easy. Just hold a camera and see if, if it shows up, right? The temple, I guess. And then shit go... went crazy. I mean, at this point, I would maybe tell them, like... I already experienced this. But uh, yeah, right, he didn't told him that he already died, right? Yeah, I guess so. Unless they go on a killing spree, right? That won't help because the copies know, right? I mean, maybe the copies don't know everything. Maybe they, maybe they just know the base information about a person. Yeah, you have to be cautious. Maybe the information a copy knows is maybe just what the person that made the copy knows. Like, when Mio made the copy of the police officer, she knew the police officer. So maybe she, the police officer, officer could just recall the information that she also knows. Which is like the name, the age, if he is in a relationship or not. Right? And like how the person talks and... Is from the his character is right, so it's still uncertain how much the copies know if it's like everything the person knew or just like what's the per what's the copy, what the person that made the copy knows maybe. Like I said, I'm repeating myself. Why did he fix that? Does she want to go to the festival with him? With the shit going on right now, he wants to leave? I mean, makes sense, right? Bye-bye. Oh. oh, now he gets the necklace. Another change from the first day, right? I mean, by now, a lot, of, a lot has changed already. Man, quality-wise, this anime looks so good. Like the details with, of the hands with the fingernails and everything. How the colors look and everything. I really like the colors of this anime. Like the eye colors, like his, the blue ones. And like the tan color of Mio, I think also looks pretty good. And there's the other girl. Man, Mio looks so good. I like her design. <laughs> But it looks good on her. Good job. Okay, because the fake probably wouldn't wear a uh, yukata, right? I mean, 
That could be a bit suspicious. Could be the doppelganger that just says, oh, it was nothing. This is like the interesting part, right? You don't know who to trust. Even if the previous so, I think was his name, was fine. This one maybe could now be the fake one, right? Since time has passed, we don't know what happened in the meantime. Yeah, I guess he also feels a bit guilty about it, right? That it happened and that he wasn't here. Oh. That's how it is, I guess. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> but so boobs. I like both. Uh oh, she told him. <laughs> uh, she told her. <laughs> he is pissed. <laughs> uh oh. Well, she is my family? Sister? Kind of like. So I guess Mio likes Shimpe? Yeah. I guess she's a bit disappointed. <coughs> I guess she likes Shimpe. Stick together. What? Oh man, dude, I can already feel broken hearts. <laughs> Mm, is it just a look-alike, or is it maybe actually like her? I mean, it's not actually her, right? I don't think so. Or maybe? I mean, at this point, who knows, right? <laughs> it could be actually her, maybe some way or another. Damn, the music. Is it? I mean, is it actually, or is it just a hallucination, or some weird Tom fuckery, Tom fuckery with his eye? It looks like it's actually her, maybe. I mean, but who knows, right? Okay, what an amazing episode. But yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode. But for me, this episode felt like it was very long, which is maybe also because I paused two times or so in the episode and talked quite a bit. Um, but yeah, because this episode is so interesting, right? Because with this episode, it feels like you can really start to theorize about the stuff that is going on. Because for one, which is like one of the bigger things I would say is the first day Shinpei came to the island, uh, he just did his like normal daytime stuff right he just lived normal his normal life because he didn't knew any better right before he died at the end of the second day basically and but when he was in the bistro the one customer told him hey you asked me about a woman with big honka bazonkas right and Shimpe is like wait what i didn't he was confused about it right and now the third day that he like the third timeline basically maybe if you wanted to call it timelines the third time now that he is like life again and relives that stuff he went to the guy and asked him about that stuff about the woman, woman with the big honk bazonkas right so maybe chimpe can is like multiple times on the island i mean that can't make sense right because can it maybe i mean maybe there are multiple chimpes and they all do different things so maybe they avoid each other unknowingly maybe somewhat or maybe knowingly um but yeah, I don't know. It's it's it feels like it could be maybe like that there are multiple shimpeis that are on the island at the same time. Because how would it work otherwise that on the first day Shimpei asked the customer, but he actually didn't because he wasn't at the customer. Um and now the third day, basically, he goes to the customer and asks him that. But if there's another Shimpei, then he should be in the bistro. Or somewhere, not in the bistro, but somewhere else, right? So, hmm. 
it's confusing. I mean, it, it's maybe not like parallels, really. That's like multiple Shinpeis at the same time. But maybe some other weird tomfuckery that is going on, right? Very confusing, very interesting, I would say. And then the whole thing with um, the doppelganger again, where it's like... Which I completely forgot to mention at the beginning, beginning of the episode. When I edited the second episode, it just like popped the light in my head when Mio killed him and stabbed him in the neck and was and the fake police officer asked her, do you want to make a copy of him too? And she said, no, he already is or something like that. Well, I thought that she maybe wanted to say, no, he's already dead. But I mean, that wouldn't make sense because the police officer was also dead when she made a copy of him. Um, but yeah, I guess she meant like he's already affected because that's what he came up with in this episode that at the funeral, I guess, is when the flash happened. That's when he got affected by the weird copying stuff, whatever, um, which we still don't know how exactly it works, right? Maybe there is already a copy of him. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe the copies... I don't know, man, it's just so confusing how it exactly works and because this... So it seems like that every doppelganger can do it, maybe. Or still, I mean, we don't know, maybe just some selected ones. The, the little girl maybe can do it and maybe the Mio doppelganger can do it. We don't know if the police officer fake could do it, but, but I mean, we don't... This is another thing because we still don't know. From what we know, it seems like that Shinpei saved the police officer by doing the fake call. But maybe in the meantime, without Shinpei knowing, he maybe still got killed the police officer and there's still the fake police officer going around now. And that's like the interesting part because we don't know who we can trust and who we couldn't trust or who we can trust. Because same with So, maybe the first time when they talked about him the first time, maybe he was fine back then or maybe it was already fake. But now at the end of the episode, maybe since time has passed, maybe now in the meantime he got killed and it's, it's a fake. We don't know. It's Or maybe it's still the real one. I mean, you never know when something could happen, like, unknowingly, because it's like, happens in in the background, right? Without showing the viewer. So it's like, you never know who you can trust and who you can't trust. And we don't know to which extent the doppelganger can copy stuff, right? Because they made a code word, basically, to identify themselves. But we don't know that if maybe a doppelganger gets made, we don't know if he has, like, full access to everything the original had, like, that the original knows, right? Maybe if the original knows the password, maybe the, maybe the copy, the doppelganger maybe also knows the password, the code word, not password, the code word. Um, but maybe the doppelganger has only the knowledge that the the person that made the or the doppelganger that made the doppelganger knew about the person so in the case of Mio from last episode maybe she, i mean she knew the name of the police officer right because it's the only police officer and they it's a small island so they know each other by name and she knows the, uh, the age and that he's single and she knows obviously how he talks and how his char character is right so maybe it's just based on what the doppelganger that made the copy knows about the person. Or, like I said, maybe it's like full access to everything the person knew, the original. We don't know. Could be either way. And if that's the case, then code, word, uh, code words are pretty useless because they would know, right? It's just... it's This is like an anime where you can like theorize like crazy, like what is going on. Uh, what is going on? How does everything work? Uh, who could be real? Who could be fake? Also interesting, like, with the little girl, when she mentioned, like, her parents uh, said she shouldn't talk or whatever, which is interesting, makes me wonder if they already are, maybe, doppelganger, and the doppelganger parents said to the girl, don't talk. Um... Or maybe the real parents said she shouldn't talk. But, yeah, I mean, how long was the girl maybe already a doppelganger, right? For quite some time. Maybe maybe when, uh, what's her name, Ushio, 
Um, maybe when Ushio saved the little girl, maybe she was already a doppelganger at that point. We don't know. It's like, there are so many possibilities and variables and all this stuff. It's crazy. It's like, I could go on for hours talking about that stuff. Maybe not hours, but for a long time. Um, and yeah, now we have, like I said, I I hope, I don't know if the name is right, Ushio. Um, um, now we saw her at the end of the episode. And it seems like it's maybe the right one, the real one, but maybe it's some Tom fuckery with his eye, maybe the present that she gave him somehow. And that one was also not real, but it seemed like she was real right on the boat in the first episode before she disappeared. Uh, but this one now wasn't glitching or anything. So yeah, could be real, could be fake or not real because it's just something of with his eye, maybe that just he can see her. Uh, because she wants maybe to tell him something somehow in some weird way. Oh man, it's like, I love it <laughs> that it's so interesting and that you can theorize about that stuff so much. But it's also like, there's so much stuff going on and I'm just like turning circles here, right? I'm drawing circles here with going around and mentioning the same stuff over and over again because it's, I just keep theorizing how things could work, but so I'm talking for like almost nine minutes again. <laughs> and I think I pretty much talked and mentioned everything I want to talk about. Um, and otherwise I would just like keep going and going and going and mention the same stuff and just keep theorizing. Um, but I think that makes not much sense right now, obviously. So yeah. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you thought about this episode. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.